क्या गीता मैंने तुरंत बाहर से मुझे बहुत डर लगता है तुम परेशान मत हो हमें कुछ नहीं होगा मैं तुम कैसी बातें कर रहे हो बाहर पानी खतरे के निशान से ऊपर जा चुका होगा और तु, हम... तुम तुम बिल्कुल परेशान मत हो म, मैं गिरीश को लेकर के आता हूँ वो तुम्हें अपनी मोटरसाइकिल पे बिठा करके तुम्हें लेके चला जाएगा ठीक है नहीं तुम मुझे अकेला छोड़ के मत जाओ गीता मैं तुम्हें अकेला छोड़ कर नहीं जा रहा हूँ मैं तुरंत आ जाऊंगा सारा सामान तुम सारा सामान बांध लो मैं तुरंत आ जाऊंगा ठीक है मैं तुरंत गिरीश को लेकर के आता हूँ Oh, hey, Jess. What are you doing? You know what I'm doing. I thought you might have been looking at houses. But no, again with the book. Jessica, just what's it cost, Raj? Your career, your wife. Jessie. What about my life? What about the things that I want? Jessica. I promise we'll look at houses, okay? Your boss likes you, Raj. <laughs> Jennifer's husband's already in management. He's the same age as you. He's not nearly as smart. You just sit here working in the dark on something that might not even be real. You're still just an engineer. No promotions, no fancy dinners, no season tickets, nothing. Jessica It is real. I'm real. Please don't throw your future away. Come to bed, Raji. Come with me, Raji. Just give me 15 minutes. Can come now or don't bother. I love you, Jess. That's great, Raj. You know, you have a good job at a top company and a wife men envy. You forget how lucky you Hey, Raj, have you got a minute? Oh, morning, Mark. Trevor just handed in his notice. Project manager's up for grabs, and I thought of you. Wow, thanks, Mark. And Sheila's been on me, and her and Jesse are thick as thieves now, and I think she just wants someone to talk to during the boring corporate dinners, you know, women, so. Yeah, hey, Mark, I, uh, I finished that manuscript. Listen, I, I can't do it right now because I'm late, but I'll talk to you tomorrow about it. Morning, Raj here. Good morning, Raj. This is Ian Edwards from the Oil and Gas Conference. As discussed before, I'm very happy to confirm you as our keynote speaker. Hi, Jesse.
I can't come to New York. Unless we change the date. Big surprise. Well, are you going to tell me why? I got a call from the Canadian Oil and Gas Conference. They, they want me to speak. It's the best platform to launch the book, Jess. It's, it's recognition. It, it's publicity before it's published. It... Do you love me at all? You say you do, but you don't act like it. Do you know how much time I've spent listening to Sheila's boring drivel so that you'd get a promotion? Do my efforts mean nothing? Of course they do. Okay, and you know that I love you, but I just, I, I don't care about bloody promotions. I care about the world that we're leaving our children. Don't you, Jess? Don't you want our, our kids to have a planet they can actually live on? A, a home where they won't get washed away or, or, or full of disease? What children? I'm warning you, Raj. Keep this up and there won't be any children. The world's fine, Raj. Look at your own problems. Here's the manuscript that everyone's talking about. And as explained, Raj, you need a communications tick on this before we approve anything. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a look at climate change uh, from all sides. And the main goal is to help people to understand how they can reduce their own carbon footprint. A uh, very even handed. Well, I'll be the judge of that. I'm pulling your leg, Raj. I'm sure the chapters on natural planetary patterns will be more than fair. You don't really believe all this climate change claptrap, do you? Best thing that happened to the Greenies since Chernobyl. They're making a killing. No reason why you shouldn't. Weather patterns have been more extreme since the 80s. I'll get back to you. Got a meeting. We have been so busy arguing for and against climate change that we have failed to educate. When we understand how our activities influence climate and what the real effects are, then we can make informed decisions. And that's why I hope you'll read my upcoming book, If You Love Your Children. Thank you. Paulina Hargrave Business Television Network. Mr. Kamarta, do you yourself not work for CPNG? That's correct. So aren't you just a mouthpiece for big industry delivering a message for the polluters? Don't worry, we're on top of things. We're even writing books about it. Uh, no, absolutely not. No? I speak for myself. Maybe you'd like to read the book when it's published before deciding what it says. But you admit that our planet is warming and industry is responsible for it? Well, first of all, we need to stop playing the blame game. It makes perfect sense for the fossil fuel industry to reduce their greenhouse gas emissions. But we also must remember that industry is producing energy that is demanded by our society. And whose society? Society is you and me. Things are changing. While many people, including big corporations, denied climate change in the past, Fuck. today most businesses around the world are taking this crisis seriously.
Next time you're interviewed, if there ever is a next time, try and avoid phrases like corporations have denied climate science. Jesus fucking Christ, I've had every tin pot greenie from Alabama to shit spill on the phone. Let's just take it down a notch. I'm sure that Raj didn't mean to say anything inappropriate. I didn't say anything inappropriate. Well, good news is you haven't given away any state secrets. But we would like some changes. Okay. Exocol. We'd like you to remove references to it. May I ask why? Because we used to own part of it, and we don't want to be tied to climate change denial. It's the truth. It's the past. We don't want to scare our consumers, certainly not in a time of recession. It's an important part of the book. I mean, people need to understand the history and the background and why there's so much false science. And that's fine. Just use another example. It's public record. I mean, ExoCoal denied climate change in the past. They admitted it. This, this information is all from their own website. Use another Example. Tracy, it makes the book balance. We need to come from a place of... Take a look at the notes and get back to me. So, Raj, what are you up to this weekend? House hunting. Oh, really? Yeah, I finally got the down payment together, so Jesse's keen to buy. Wants to be up here. You know, right now may not be the best time to buy. Hmm? House prices seem OK. Jesse's already in love, so we're putting in an offer. Raj, can you help me with something here? Yeah, sure. Raj, I, uh, I wasn't going to say anything about this today. But since you're talking about buying a house and everything, I... What? CPNG is going to let you go. Excuse me, the, but we had just talked the, the promotion because of the book. There's a recession and expansions are on hold and, and we've got to let some people go. It's because of the book. There's nothing else. Raj, times are tight. <sighs> Look at Raj. The company needs team players. I can't justify the current staff. I'm sorry. Jess, don't panic. We'll be fine. I'll, I'll get another job and, and, and the book will get published. It will, Jess. Nothing can stop me. You've lost everything because of that stupid climate change shit. I'm trying to do the right thing, Jess. I want to help. Okay? And the book will sell. We'll have money. We'll be okay, I promise. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wake up, Raj. Did J.K. Rowling write a book no one wanted to read? No. She wrote about magic and wizards. <laughs> You're an embarrassment to yourself and to me!
No one's gonna publish your book, Raj. Jess, just hear me out, please. Listen to me. Look at me, Jessica. Will you? Here, you can add it to the pile. Jess. Jess. Jessica. Jess, you just wait. Give me. Here's a little tip, Raj. You want to beat him, you got to join him. I'm going home. Please do not call me. Yes. Neil McGowan, McKelney Book Publishing. Yes, there was a message in the mail last week. Thank you. <laughs> hey, Raj, don't hang up. We want to publish your book. Raj? Raj? Yeah? to introduce the new chair for the Canadian Climate Change Committee, international bestseller, and our recipient for this year's Lane Anderson Award for If You Love Your Children. Please welcome Mr. Raj Kamarta. I did not expect to be here. It felt like I lost everything along the way. But in those dark times, it was the thought of my parents that kept me going. For they truly did lose everything. Their fate was sealed from the earliest days of the Industrial Revolution. From the moment we started using energy for comfort and profit without considering the health of our planet and people. It is for those without voices that I speak. My parents. Our children. Our grandchildren. This beautiful, fragile planet filled with innumerable wonders. Climate change is a huge challenge, and it's easy to give up. There's seven billion of us. What difference can the actions of one individual make? Well, to quote the activist and anthropologist Margaret Mead, never doubt that a small group of thoughtful, committed people can change the world. Indeed, it is the only thing that ever has. We can all do better. All we need is the will to change. The will to forsake greed and destruction. The, the will to create, innovate, regenerate. The will to nurture.
the will to love. Thank you.